God, there's no continues in this game. So it's freaking 1cc or nothing in this game. Alright, I'm gonna take another run at it. If I don't get it on this run, we're gonna play some Battletoads. I'm kind of dreading Battletoads on Game Boy, but I want to see more of it. I got to the ice level last time, and I want to see, I want at least like see the snake level and see if it's really as difficult. The ice level is nasty as hell, but I want to see more. I'm, I'm like extremely curious about that, but I'll take one more run of this. This is a short game. If that guy's the last boss, this is like a 15 minute game here. Dude, Steamy, don't worry about it, man. Like I said, no one ever has to sub or donate bits or anything here. Don't worry about it. It's all its all very, very appreciated, but never going to be required. This channel is all about just pl having good time playing games. Now, I'm not lying. I'd like to be a career streamer. That way, I, you could have an excuse to not do a real job and sit at home playing video games all day. Who wouldn't want that? But that's not realistic for like 99.9% .9 of people, so that's basically an afterthought. That is a complete afterthought. This is all about having a good time. But it, but I, it is cool to imagine this is like being a real career. I, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's how I feel too, King. That's how I, f I feel too. And honestly, the, one of the first things I would do if I like won the lottery or something, I put in for Publishers Clearinghouse every time it comes up. You, you know, like win $3,000 a week for life or whatever. You, you guys have probably seen commercials and stuff. But uh, the, one of the things I would have the most fun doing with that is that all of a sudden I just start dropping into Twitch channels just like, Oh, here's 50,000 bits for you. Here's 85 gift subs for you. I, I do, do, do you know how much fun that would be? That would be as fun as doing anything else with a bunch of money. It, it really would be. Giving it away is more fun than spending it. That would be the, like the most fun thing ever. <laughs> I, I could just, I'd have fun doing that the rest of my life. It's just popping in on friends like, okay. 200 gift subs a day. <laughs> Buy a nice condo at the beach or something and just stream video games all day. That, that'd be the life. That's how I feel. Yeah, King, exactly. Having fun, meeting new people, and making friends. And if it wasn't for co it's co as shitty as COVID's been... I've just, like, that's kind of what got me started on streaming and what got me started, like, checking out other Twitch channels and stuff like that. And at this point, I don't want to go back. It's like, if I'm not at least tuning into Twitch some part of the day now, I, I feel like I'm <laughs> missing out. So I I'm super glad I got into this whole thing. It's normally kind of hard to make friends, too, once you start getting a little bit older because you're not as active as much. And Twitch has kind of changed that for me because I, I, meeting a lot of you guys and stuff has just been a lot of fun to me. And it, it's not what I was expecting when I was getting into streaming and stuff because I didn't watch a whole lot of Twitch channels before that. I just kind of glance in every now and then if it was a game I was interested in. But it, it, my opinion of all that has completely changed. It's like... You actually can be friends with people now. It, it's a lot more than something stupid like Facebook and all that. Yeah, Raku, this is uh, this is based on a series called Fist of the North Star, and the main character in the series, when he would hit people and stuff at the end of a fight, they would blow apart. Go look up Fist of the North Star. You will, you will totally get it then. It's, it's a violent series. It is a violent series. And they didn't include any, like, blood and gore here, but... Alright, let's not screw this fight up. This guy's not that hard. I totally screwed this up last time. There's a nice little two-hit combo you can pull if you land a jump kick and then land another hit right... Oh my, see, it's not that hard. It's a get-good moment. I just beat him in like three seconds.
on passion to game full time, your body and mental health will get exhausted. Stream uh, now that is something I wasn't anticipating is that streaming takes more energy than I originally thought it was going to. It's not the same thing as playing a game off stream. It's totally different. Totally different feeling, totally different energy, just like everything's different. And I've had people ask me before, like off stream and stuff, hey, I, I'm thinking about getting into streaming, should I try it? And I'm like, well, the main thing is if you're a, like a shy type person and you don't like speaking in front of people and stuff, I wouldn't consider it at all. That would be, like, my first reaction to somebody that says, do they want to stream, is, are you comfortable talking? I was never the shy type, like, in high school and growing up and stuff like that. I, I never had a problem, like, interacting with people and stuff. Yes, the, the interaction is extremely important. That's as important as anything else. And that's why I, that's how I choose who I watch when I stream is based, I mean, when I watch other streamers is based on, like, their interaction level and stuff like that. A lot of times the game comes second, but just having a, a good streamer that's fun and interacts with chat and stuff, that, that means everything. That's why I don't like watching big streamers. If Twitch was all streamers of, like, 5,000 viewers and up people, I wouldn't really care. It's the small communities that keep me coming back. That's how it's always been. That's good, Steamy. Just just get more used to it. Just, you just get more used to it. Goten, you're a good player and a really nice guy. And you you also and on top of that, you pick fun games to play as well. That that's that's why people keep coming back to your streams, because it's fun. You do a great job. You do a really great job. And I found you through Mr. Yeti's channel. You just popping in and dropping some raids on him every now and then. And I was like, oh, cool. Goten streams too. Let, let's check his stream out sometime. And that's how I found you. <laughs> and the first time I joined your stream, I think you were playing uh, Super Mario World 2, Goten. And I had never even played that before, and you were extremely welcoming to me and stuff, so I was like, well, okay, wow. <laughs> you know, I've, I've, this is perfect. This, these guys are just, like, totally wrecking me here. Ninjas with freaking scimitars, dude. I'm just getting my face torn off. What are you, oh, oh crap, what are you guys talking about? I heard this game was based off Fist of the North Star. CK December Gaming, you are 100% correct, man. You are 100 correct. 100% correct. This is the Americanized version. It was changed to a generic karate guy because uh, K4 said they didn't get the license for it. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Naughty's really good at Games King. She's She does a great job. She's fun to watch as well and also very interactive with the chat. That's why it's funny running into a lot of you guys in other channels as well. You guys know what's cool. <laughs> That's always fun. CK December Gaming, thanks for the follow as well, bud. Thank you very much. Welcome in. What else are you guys talking about? Sorry, I'm falling behind in the chat. My chat's normally not this busy. I'm going to keep up. Yeah, Raku, this guy's like super strong in the series. He's like way overpowered. Go, go look him up. <laughs> Definitely go look him up. I feel I got here to yeah. Chalk is another excellent streamer. I found him. Ran, I found him. He was hanging out in Goten's chat talking about random stuff, and that's how I've learned he was a streamer as well. It's like you learn who streams by hanging out in other channels, and it kind of like grows from there. That's how it's been for me. That's how it's been for me. Small streamers are great. That if it was like I said, if it wasn't for small streamers, I wouldn't even be hanging out in any channels. I've tried to mess around with some big channels and stuff before. It's not fun. There's no community. Everyone's spamming memes, and the guy doesn't, and the streamer doesn't even look at his own chat. And it's going so fast and stuff. I can totally see why. But that doesn't make for a fun stream because there's zero interaction. It's boring as hell. But yeah, I know. I know. I know. Before someone says it, they're making an ass load of money. I know. I, I get that, but the community feeling and all that is lost. 
which I honestly don't understand how people find streamers that large entertaining considering there's zero interaction. I mean, to each their own and stuff. I'm not knocking it, but it, it, it's just kind of awkward to me that people would choose to just be there and not be able to do anything. I like popping into a stream and the streamer knows who I am and you can interact with them, have a good time, that type of stuff. That, that's what I like. You beat Turbo Tunnel on our first try? Yeah, I would do. That was unreal. <laughs> that was freaking unreal how she pulled that off. I was at work. I was supposed to be working, but she just got to Turbo Tunnel. We're talking about Tsunati. She's a really good streamer as well. And she beat Turbo Tunnel on that first set of lives. I, I was like, what? <laughs> I was stuck on that for months as a kid. Literal months. Literal months. I was able to do it quickly on stream when I streamed Battletoads, but that's because I had a lot of practice as a kid. Totally different. <laughs> Alright, you gotta fake this guy out. This guy you actually have to use strategy on. You don't just hit buttons. Which, this guy whooped my ass a couple of times Told K4 told me how to beat him. There we go. He's actually easy if you know what to do. Yeah, get wrecked. Took you four days to beat Turbo Tunnel. Totally normal, Goten. Totally. Four days is honestly awesome, man. <laughs> that is honestly awesome. When I beat it as a kid after months of owning the game, I was like, dude, I beat Turbo Tunnel. Guess what? I bet the game gets a lot easier now. And then I proceeded to get my ass handed to me on the ice level and never really picked up Battletoads as a kid again because I was so salty about it. <laughs> Didn't really truly play it again until I started streaming it. And then the grind started and it was like a, I don't know, it was like a 12-day grind or something. I put in a lot of hours on it. It was fun, though. It was fun. All right, now we're fighting Pyros. Ooh, you even touch these characters, you take some damage. I like this game, by the way. This game's okay. It, it's good. It's not a masterpiece or anything. It's fun, though. What are you guys talking about? Sorry, I'm falling way behind here. That's awesome, Steamy. That's awesome. It, it's fun to watch your channel grow. It really is. And even if it grows slowly, that's okay, too. It's not a race or anything. Don't focus too much on the numbers as a streamer. Just, like, play games, have a good time, interact with who shows up, and kind of let the chips fall where they fall. That was kind of my mindset going into it. Big streamers look at numbers and money, lack of interaction, and sponsors hounding the streamer. King, that's... If I was a big streamer, my biggest regret, if if my channel ever went big, it's I'm not saying that it ever will. I don't ever expect it to. But I'm just saying, if I ever got to the point where I was a big streamer, my biggest regret about the whole thing would be that I couldn't really interact with my chat anymore because that's the been the funnest part of streaming to me. When I first started streaming, it was I kind of thought the game was the focus. No, it's more about making friends and getting into the community. That's where it really shines. And that disappears when you become a big streamer. That totally disappears. Exactly, Goten. Exactly. And it's people posting a bunch of stupid memes and stuff. That's the whole thing. Two-tone, what's going on, man? What is going on? Absolutely a different focus, December. A hundred percent. And I, I, I just, that would be my regret. I know that sounds kind of weird, though. I know a lot of people care about making money and stuff on Twitch. That's totally fine. But like where most of us are, it's, it's just fun to be able to log on and chill and have a good time. That, that's kind of what it's all about. Let's give Two-Tone a shout out. He's dropped in. I hope you're having a great day as well, Two-Tone. I have enjoyed seeing some of your retro fighting game streams. So, for you guys that don't know Two Tone, go check him out. Really cool dude. Really knowledgeable guy about games. He and I have had some heated uh, video game trivia sessions in Goten's channel. It's always a good time when Two Tone 
myself and Throg are in for trivia. That's some hardcore trivia going on right there. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to do that lately, but boy, that, that's fun when it's going. <laughs> Give me that, whatever the hell that power-up was. All right. You know what? Spamming buttons in this game is kind of stupid. <laughs> it, it, this game kind of punishes you when you spam buttons. It, it kind of does. It, it's not good for that. Yeah, uh, we had a couple of sessions, Two-Tone, where the points were, like, worth a... Every question was worth a ton of points, and there was one, like, session where I got, like, five questions in a row because, I, luckily, it was all stuff I was really familiar with, and I kind of inflated the score that way. <laughs> it was just a, a, a totally lucky, coincidental roll of what questions popped up, and I knew, like, every game. <laughs> that, that's what blew the scores out of proportion. There's other times where I don't know any of the answers, but that's kind of what's fun about trivia is you learn new stuff about it, even if you don't know the answer. That, that's a, like, look at it as a learning experience. Dude, that's a great raid count, Steamy. That's awesome. Anytime you get raided, whether it's a raid of one or a raid of a 550, I, I, I love raids. <laughs> I don't care how many people would ever raid me. I don't care if it's one or five hundred. I'm just appreciative that someone picked me. That that's all that matters. And Goten, I remember you saying someone actually got mad at you for raiding with like five people or something. That that, that is unreal. <laughs> but does it surprise me? Because there's a lot of douchebags out there. There really are. That's why I'm thankful we have a nice, friendly community of people that are like regulars and a bunch of channels. I'm super thankful for that. All right, she's got no health here. Do I have to like kick her out of the air here for this to work? She's at zero health and not going down anymore. Okay. <laughs> There, okay, that is how you have to finish it, because she, like, flies through the air right there. Eugene Nako is pretty smart with the bosses in this game. Dude, this game has really good AI for being an old game as far as the boss fights. I'm kind of impressed with that. I, I really am. This came out in, like, 1986. And if you just smash buttons, you don't win fights. Okay, we got to figure this guy out. I haven't beat him yet. All right, some good, like, two-hit combos and stuff is what I need. Land a kick, land a flying kick, and then follow up with, like, a punch or another kick. He, like, dodges or something. Oh, he can come out of that with a, another move. Okay. That's what we need right there. More of that. Oh, that's nice. No. Oh, he can... That's cheap. I can't do that. He can. Oh, come on. Yes! Oh, my God. Got him. Oh, wait. He's not dead? There's, like, gonna be another phase. There's gonna be another part. He's not dead. He's still got some health. Dude, what happened? He's not dead. Guys, what just happened there? You finally defeated the boss and temporarily brought peace to the world. Now with the experience you've gained in Kyoko's... Kyoko's love to sustain you, continue to battle onward to even more rousing victory. Dude, what the hell happened? It didn't look... That looked like glitchy or something. He wasn't dead. 